Okay, we're going to talk about uh, reloading the AK. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of discussion out there about what to do with these magazines and so on. Listen, the first thing I'll tell you is if you're inside close range environment, close range gunfighting environment, or CQB as some people call it, don't worry about reloading the rifle. Transfer to your, or transition to your pistol. Uh, we've done tests in rifle classes where we've got guys very, very fast reloaders uh, using ready mags and all sorts of attachments and things on the rifles. You know what? Even the slowest guy drawing his pistol out of the holster still beats him. All right. So if, uh, if you are inside pistol range when you run out of ammunition, go to pistol. Don't bother trying to reload the rifle. Okay. Now, let's, uh, let's discuss reloading this rifle. All right. This right here is the heart of your weapon. Okay. If you get rid of these magazines, and you don't have any more, what is this? It's a single shot self-ejecting baseball bat. Okay, so you know, take care of your magazines. Now I'm not telling you that you want to risk your life to save a magazine, but don't make it a default to drop your magazines on the ground. That's what I see go on in a lot of rifle schools. You know why? Because it's easy to tell a student when you're out of ammo, take the magazine, throw it away, get another one. You know, if you do that constantly all day long, in, in a battlefield environment or in an uh, in extremist environment like Katrina or the LA riots or something like that, at the end of the day, this is all you're going to have. Okay? Magazines are precious. Hang on to them if you can. All right? So let's talk about reloading with the understanding that we're going to try and retain these magazines if we can. All right? All right. Now, the first thing is if I'm up here shooting and I need to reload, okay? I can't really see what's going on downrange very well here, and I don't have the leverage necessary to reload here. I mean, I suppose I could, but it's much easier doing it a different way. Consider also that you're probably going to have to be moving from point of cover to point of cover uh, or what have you while you're reloading. And I haven't met anyone yet that can do the 100 yard dash with the rifle mounted like this. All right? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring the rifle up into our line of sight like this. It's the same thing we do with our pistols. This way I can keep track of what's going on in front of me with the bad guys and I can use the magazine um, uh, with leverage and everything else while I'm keeping track of what's going on downrange. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the rifle up and I'm going to extract this magazine and bring it out. I'm going to secure it in my dump pouch. All right. I'm going to reach inside. I'm going to grab a fresh magazine. I'm going to insert it in the rifle. Now the way I do it is like this. I grab the magazine and I let me bring the hand on the other side of the sling, and I put my knuckles right at about where the forend is. This will give me an automatic index to rock the magazine back. This is the motion that I have to do to make sure that this magazine is seated in place. All right. Now the next thing that you want to do is take that hand, bring it underneath, hit the bolt uh, uh, handle, and work it straight back. Okay. So from here to here. Some guys like to do it this way, over the top. That's acceptable too. It really doesn't matter. You can even reload and use your primary hand if you want to. It doesn't make any difference. All right. I personally like to come underneath and hit it this way. Okay. So the reload, let's look at it again. Okay. In uh, smooth motion. Okay. Let's look at it again a little bit faster. That's the way I want you to reload your AK. Very simple, minimal motions, it gets the job done. All right? Real quick, I want to talk about my gear. A lot of times guys will come to rifle class, they'll be wearing a chest rig and you know a tactical vest and all kinds of stuff. Um, basically all this is is just a uh, it's a rifle fighting bag. The cool thing about it is I don't have to put it on. I could use it without the attachment points here, just as a shoulder bag. Um, with these Attachments put away, uh, you know, what does it look like? A diaper bag, basically. Good heavens, a tactical diaper bag. Um, anyway, it, uh, it holds enough magazines. I've got a trauma pouch up front, some other survival goodies back here. Um, when I grab the rifle to go fight with it, I can grab this and throw it on my shoulder. We've sold a lot of these to uh, uh, folks that are working in dangerous areas that need to keep their equipment handy but not be wearing it all the time for administrative reasons. They can keep all their fighting gear in one bag, and when it comes time to grab and go, everything's in the right place. They can deploy it very, very quickly. 